hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome here if you are new. My name is Becky. I am a wife and mom to three little ones ages six, four, and two and we are expecting our fourth in just a couple months here in April. Here on my main channel I like to share all things real life, mom life, cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. If that is something you enjoy watching and you need some motivation throughout your day, I hope you will subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and let's do this. We are starting today in my kitchen, which isn't too messy. Everything just really needed to be wiped down. My stove top, all of my appliances, the counters, and the dishes needed to be done, but everywhere else in my house was a complete disaster. The homeschool room, the kitchen table, the living room, and the floors really, really need to be vacuumed and washed. So I'll be pulling out my tin coat towards the end of today's video and getting those floors nice and clean. Embarrassingly, I think this will be the very first time. I have washed the floor throughout the whole main floor. The only room I didn't get to was my office because that room is just on another level. I need to dedicate some time to organizing and decluttering my office. I ordered a rug for that space that has not been shipped yet. I ordered it about a month ago and I'd also like to get some artwork for the walls. I did hang some curtains in my office that you will see and they look beautiful. I love them. I feel like curtains can really add to and change a space and the way it looks and feels. But I decided to hold off on this space because even though it is in pretty bad shape and pretty messy in there, I would really like to get the project done all at once. I'd like to clean it up, declutter what I need to declutter, then turn my office into a space I really enjoy rather than just doing it a little at a time. I love transformations and I don't want to come in my office, clean up a little bit, and kind of be disappointed that it's not how I want it to look. I'd rather know that when I'm coming in here and getting this project completely done, once I'm done, it is an office and a space that I just love being in. Anyway, as you can see, I'm wiping down my stove top. The first thing I'm doing is just getting all of the crumbs off of there because there was a lot. Then I'm pulling out Barkeeper's Friend, the soft cleanser, and a scrub mommy, and really cleaning and scrubbing this stove top. When doing this, if you have a stove top similar to mine, just make sure you're not scrubbing too hard because stainless steel does scratch. One way to avoid that or to help with that is to get your scrub mommy damp with warm water. It makes it really, really squishy rather than really hard. Or you can even use the other side, the softer side. I'm using the scrubbing side because I had a little bit of caked on food on my stove top that I needed to scrub off. Off. And when I'm done, it looks good as new. Something I had to get used to though when we moved into our new house, because everything was brand new, it was really hard for me to accept that everything will not stay brand new. We have little ones, things happen, stainless steel unfortunately scratches really easily. I do my best to try to avoid that, but I do know after having stainless steel in the old house and now having it in this house, as much as I would like to avoid all the scratches and every dent and every mark everywhere. That is just unrealistic. Right now our walls have marks on them. You'll see right behind the stove top there's a bunch of like splatters on the wall. Because we chose not to have a backsplash put into our kitchen, I just didn't like the options that the builder had. So we did purchase our own ceramic backsplash. Rob recently picked that up and he will be doing that himself, which I am I'm so excited for but he is doing so much around the house right now so it's just one thing at a time but you will see some marks on my walls throughout my house this is just to say that things don't stay brand new and when we moved into this house I did not know that builders used flat paint on the walls. This makes it impossible to wipe them down. I always try either with a multi-surface spray or the pink stuff or my scrub daddy power paste, but it never gets the mark completely out. That is why when I paint, I choose to use eggshell or semi-gloss. It just makes it way easier to wipe down your walls. Thank you. 
I had a few stains on these white quartz countertops and I have seen others kind of panic a little bit when this happens. Fortunately, there is no need to panic unless it's something like turmeric. I think there's one other thing that will really, really stain these countertops. But if it's just a mark from a jar, let's say even beets, or sometimes when I cut up carrots, the carrots will leave like an orange color to the counters. The Scrub Daddy Power Paste takes those marks right out. I just showed you one of the marks that came out and then there's another one on the island. It seriously works amazing. I cannot remember the other thing that does not come out. I know it's turmeric, I think food coloring, but there is one more thing to be careful of, so I'm sorry I can't remember, but if you do have lighter quartz countertops, just be careful what you're setting on there. And definitely don't panic if you do see a ring or a small mark or something from fruits and vegetables, try this Scrub Daddy Power Paste and I promise most of them will come right out. When you look it up online, it says things like coffee, wine, and tea stained quartz countertops. I have had all of those spill on my countertops and even left them on there. Like let's say I make a cup of coffee and it leaves a coffee ring. Or even during Christmas time, there was wine on the counter and it left some wine rings. My Scrub Daddy Power Paste took all of those marks out as well. Now I don't know if I just got lucky and got to them in time or if the Scrub Daddy Power Paste actually works that well. I just wanted to share this in case you have any stubborn stains on your countertops and you needed something that could potentially help. So I was planning to do the dishes at night after putting the kids to bed, but after I got done putting the kids to bed, when I came downstairs, Rob had already cleaned up the living room, cleaned up the mudroom, and done the dishes, which I am so thankful for. He is such a great help around the house. I feel like it is so important to work as a team and just be there for each other. I think it's just part of being in a healthy relationship. I am very pregnant and very tired, and he is just always there doing whatever needs to be done. So I am super thankful for that. So we will not be doing the dishes in today's video. I am cleaning off the kitchen table, then moving into the homeschool room.
I wanted to share these educational posters that I got on Amazon with you. The homeschool room definitely needs some work. We just need to put some stuff on the walls and just make it more homeschooly. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I did get a giant whiteboard to hang on the wall. I got these posters, which I won't be using all of them. There are only eight in here that I will be using, but I wanted to show you all of them that came in the package anyway. One thing I thought about putting in here, but I'm just not not a big fan of is putting a rug in a homeschool room. Even though it adds to making it more comfortable in there, we do arts and crafts in here with paint and markers, and I just think that does not sound like a very smart idea. When we do homeschooling work in here or arts and crafts, we do pull the table out more towards the center of the room. So my concern would be that any rug that we would put in here, whether it be washable or not, it would just get destroyed so easily. So unfortunately, as cute as I know it would be in here, especially I love those circle rugs with the ABCs on them. I just don't think that's a functional thing to have in this space. Someone left a comment on a previous video of mine saying how it would be nice to have an area for the kids to display their schoolwork or any artwork that they do. And I just thought that was the greatest idea. So I did get some command hooks, some jute twine and these little tiny clothes pins. I decided to do it this way so that I don't have tacks around anywhere. I just didn't think that sounded very safe like on a cork board or anything. So my plan is to hang up the jute twine and then hang their artwork with the clothes pins. And if you are wondering about all of the cut up paper, we were doing a craft and the cutting got a little carried away. So I am cleaning that up with Wyatt's help and Hazel's help. I told them they could continue cutting cutting it up and having fun as long as they understood that once they were done, it was time to clean up. I recently saw someone, I think it was on Instagram, use a steam cleaner to clean basically everything around their home and make sure it was nice and clean and sanitized. I decided I was going to try my steam cleaner on the kids' craft table. When I saw somebody use this on Instagram, it took off all of the stains. It worked amazing, so I wanted to try it out myself. For the most part, I thought it worked really well. I wish the padding on the steam cleaner was a little thicker to absorb a little more moisture. Similar to how the mop attachment is, it absorbs a lot of moisture and although I thought it cleaned really well, it left a lot of water behind, which I wasn't really a fan of. I did have it on the high setting though, so that is my fault, but I felt like even on the low setting, which I did change it to, it still left quite a bit of water and at the end, everything needed to be wiped down with a microfiber towel just to absorb that extra moisture. So I'm going to say yes, I do recommend this. However, I wish it absorbed more, but it was a lot easier and quicker than pulling out my Scrub Daddy Power Paste, scrubbing down the entire table, all of the chairs, then having to go back, spray it down with a multi-surface cleaner, wipe that down. This was one step and then a quick wipe down.
The homeschool room is clean. Now we are cleaning this giant mirror, which I love. I got it from Anthropology. It's the Gleaming Primrose Mirror. And I've gotten a lot of questions asking me if it is anchored to the wall. And yes, of course it is anchored to the wall. That is the very first thing we did when we got it. But I absolutely love it. I got it on their Black Friday sale and got it 30% off, which was a great deal. And if you have been eyeballing this mirror like I have been, they do go on sale once in a while. I will say like two times a year. So keep your eyes peeled for that sale and then grab it. I chose the gold seven foot one. I'm now filling up the water for my Tinco to vacuum and mop my floors. I cannot wait for you to see how dirty they were. They don't look that bad, but once you see the water, it is disgusting and I'm so happy to have my floors clean. And I will say there were a few dishes in the sink they did not all fit in the dishwasher and that's totally fine there were only like three dishes in there so I'm just happy that most of them are done I have to say I am so thankful for my Tinco because this probably took me about I would say 25 minutes maybe a half hour but if I was using a mop and bucket this would have taken me at least double the time I would have had to change the water and continue mopping and squeezing out the mop and I just you know this Tinco made it so so much easier especially being as pregnant as I am to be able to just to walk around my house and vacuum and mop at the same time is amazing. If you don't have a Tinco like this, you don't know what you're missing. I also feel like 25 minutes sounds like a long time to get this done, but I'm talking about from the moment I filled up the clean water tank to the moment I dumped out the second dirty water tank and rinsed and washed it all out and put it back on the dock to self-clean. The entire process took about 25 minutes. Just mopping the floors itself probably took, I don't know, maybe 15 or so minutes. But I think it's really, really important to keep a cleaning tool like this as clean as possible because 
If you don't, it gets yucky and stinky and dirty and it almost makes it unusable. This is my second Tinco I did upgrade. I loved my old one just as much. This one just has a couple more features. I feel like the water tank is substantially bigger and I just love this Tinco. Like I said, if you don't have one, you should get one. I also didn't just stop using my old one for no reason just because I wanted a new one. I definitely would not do something like that. My old one ended up having a mechanical issue. I sent it into Tinco. Their customer service was great. They ended up giving me some of my money back. And after using it for that many years and for them to give me a portion of my money back, I was totally fine with that. And I'm just thankful that I have this one now and I'm so, so happy with it. As we finish up here, I have one last important question for you. I am really struggling trying to figure out which room I should make over first. I feel like they all need to be done and I cannot stay focused and just pick one. I find myself online searching things for my office, for the homeschool room, for the kids rooms, for basically every room. Just my brain is all over the place. So I would love your suggestions, your input, whatever you want to see made over first. Let me know in the comments below whether that's my pantry, my office, my kids rooms, my master bedroom, the homeschool room, the playroom, literally every space in this home needs to be made over and personalized to my family and our style and I would just love your input for what you would like to see first to help me narrow it down a little bit and I can focus on one area. Anyway, thank you so much for being here and watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and of course I hope you will subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks again I will see you in the next one.